solving quadratic equation using the difference of two squares. So, tama't pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin for today. So ngayon, itutuloy lang natin kung paano nga ba mag-solve ng quadratic equation using the different factoring methods that we know. So ito naman, pangalawa na tayo. And we are going to discuss today about difference of two squares naman. Paano kung factorable yung equation natin using the difference of two squares? So let's do that. So ayan, ito ulit yung quadratic equation para hindi nyo makalimutan yung form niya. And let's start with our first example. Ay, joke lang pala. So, reminder muna ulit, perfect squares. Since difference of two squares ito, kailangan alam mo itong mga numbers na to. And, much better kung hanggang 20 ang sa ulo mo na, perfect squares. So, kapag sinabing perfect squares, makakaisip ka, kunwari ito sa 1, kaya mo makaisip ng dalawang number, dalawang integer, na kapag binultiply sa sarili ay, ang sagot ay, yung 1. Yung 4, kunwari. Ah, Dalawang number, kapag pinag-multiply, ang sagot ay 4. Ganun siya. So, ito yung mga perfect squares na usual na lumalabas. Pero kung mas higher dito, trial and error kayo. Kailangan nyo uh, subukan kung ano nga ba yung number na kapag minultiply sa sarili, ang sagot ay yung numbers na pinapahanan. Ayan. So, ito totoo na talaga to. Example number 1. X squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So, bakit ito naging under ng difference of two squares? Again, syempre, kailangan mong mag-satisfy yung conditions of difference of two squares. Unang-una, since two squares nga, dapat dalawang term. So, dalawang terms yan. Okay naman. Next, minus pang operation. So, since difference, kaya nga difference, edi minus yon. Tapos, two squares, ibig sabihin ang first term tapos ang last term ay parehong perfect square. And this time, ito naman, Sa x squared ay perfect square sa kasi 36 ay perfect square din naman. So, pasok ito sa difference of two squares natin. And how do we factor difference of two squares? Ganda lang. So, get the square root of the first and the last term. Square root ni x squared. Tapos, square root ni 36. So, kapag square root ng variable na naka-raise sa isang number, dinidivide lang natin yun sa 2. Kung ano man itong exponent na to, divide mo lang lagi yan sa 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, ang sagot dito ay x raised to 1. Or just x. Kasi automatic naman niya na raised to 1. Then, for square root of 36, mag-iisip ka ng number na kapag multiply sa sarili ay 36 ang sagot. And that is 6. Ayan. Tapos, para makuha yung final answer dito ng difference of two squares, ipagpa-plus lang natin ito tapos ipagmaminus. Now, if you want... To learn yung full details about this, I have separate video about that. You may watch that first. Yung pagkuha ng difference of two squares. So after mo makuha si square root dito, ipagpa-plus natin to x plus 6 tapos x minus 6. And that will be the factored form nitong nasa left side of the equation natin. Equal to 0. Ayan. So eto na yung factored form equal to 0 na Tapos, same step lang din. So, ihiwalayin lang natin itong dalawa. So, x plus 6 is equal to 0. Tapos, x minus 6 is equal to 0. Hiwalayin mo lang yung dalawa. So, equate both this one to 0. Ayan. To solve for x sub 1, so, solve natin ito. Anong gagawin? So, since may positive 6 or plus 6 dyan, ilipat natin sa kabila. And kapag lumipat, magiging siyang negative. So, ito na ang itsura nun x is equal to 0 minus 6, tapos ang 0 bawasan ng 6, that is negative 6, and this will now be our x sub 1. Alright, so x sub 1 natin ay negative 6. So let's do that for this one, sa x sub 2 naman. So negative 6, ilipat natin para matira si x. What will happen? Magiging siyang plus. Alright, so magiging plus 6 na, kasi nga nilipat. Then, 0 plus 6 is 6, and this is now 
the value of x sub 2. So that's it. Ganun lang. So eto na ngayon ang x sub 1 natin, x sub 2, na pinapahanap sa atin sa ating given na quadratic equation. Ayan. Alright, so let's have another example. 4x squared minus 81 is equal to 0. So let's use difference of 2 squares simply because 2 terms yan. Minus ang operation tapos lahat ng nandito sa given natin ay perfect squares. So let's do that. Of course, ang first step natin ay kunin ang square root ng first term which is 4x squared and square root ng 81. So square root of 4x squared of course, dito sa 4, mag-iisip ka ng number na dapat kapag minultiply sa sarili, ang sagot ay 4, and that is 2. Tapos, for variable x, of course, di-divide lang ulit natin yung 2 sa 2. Kasi ang variable, kapag nakaray sa isang number, tapos kinukuha ang square root, dinidivide lang natin sa 2. So, therefore, dito, 2x na lang. Again, 2, kasi ang 2 times 2 ay 4. Tapos, bakit x na lang? Kasi dinivide natin yung 2 sa 2. Next, 81. Ito naman, isip ka ng number na kapag minultiply sa sarili, dapat 81 ang sagot. And that is 9. Ayan. So, after that, ipag-plus lang ito tapos ipag-minus. So, 2x plus 9 sa unang parenthesis. Sa pangalawang parenthesis, 2x minus 9. So, equal to 0. Then, para makuha ang values ng x sub 1 tapos x sub 2, hiwalayin natin itong dalawa. So, 2x plus 9 dito is equal to 0. Tapos, 2x minus 9 is equal to 0. Ganun lang. Equate mo lang lagi yan sa 0. Tapos, solve for x sub 1. So, ang unang gagawin dito, ililipat natin yung constant. Ilipat mo yung 9 doon. Magiging siyang negative. So, by doing that, ito yung lalabas. 2x na tira is equal to 0 minus 9. Tapos, solve muna natin to. 2x is equal to negative 9. Then, since hindi pwedeng may katabi si x, i e di-divide natin ito sa 2. Ayan. Kung ano yung katabi ng x, i-divide lang natin. Tapos, mawawala na yung 2 dyan sa gilid. Kasi madi-divide na yung 2 dun sa 2. So, matitira ay 1x na lang. So, si x is equal to negative 9 over 2. So, since hindi na naman ito ma... Hindi tayo makakuha ng whole number or integer na sagot dito, pwedeng fraction na lang ang maging 4. And okay lang din naman na improper fraction ang Sagot. So, this is now our x sub 1. x sub 1 is equal to negative 9 over 2. So, eto na yung isa sa mga values na pinapahanap sa atin. Ano pa yung isa pang value na hahanapin natin? So, let's do that. So, x sub 2 naman. So, si negative 9, ilipat natin sa kabila. So, magiging siyang positive kasi nag-transpose nga. 2x is equal to 0 plus 9. And solve muna natin to. 0 plus 9 is just 9. 2x is equal to 9. So, para mawala ulit yung 2, divide natin yung 2 sa both side of the equation. Tapos, alright, madidivide na yung 2 dito, magiging 1x na lang. Tapos, yung 9 over 2, since hindi na naman makakakuha tayo dito ng integer o ka integer na sagot, so pwede nang ganito, fraction na ang maging sagot natin. So, x is equal to 9 over 2. And this will now be our x of 2. Ayan. So, ganun lang ang pagkuha kapag difference of two squares. Now, let's have our humor drill. Now, kung hindi ka pa ready, kung medyo mabilis yung discussion natin, you may go back to that. So, panoorin mo ulit yung discussion natin and saka ka pumunta dito sa humor drill. But if you are ready already, then let's start this. So, number 1, x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. The number 2, 25x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. So, I'll pause for a while and I'll get back to you to give the answer. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So let us now answer this one. Number one. 
x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. So, this is under difference of 2 squares. Bakit? Dalawang term. Minus perfect square ang first term and last term. So, kapag difference of 2 squares, kunin mo yung square root ng first term sa kanang second term. Tapos, kapag kukunin ang square root ng variable, divide mo lang sa tuwang exponent. So, we'll have 1. Tapos, first square root of 64, mag-isip ka ng number na kapag minultiply sa sarili, ang sagot ay 64. So, that is 8. Kasi ang 8 times 8 ay 64. Then, kapag nakuha mo na itong dalawa, ipag-plus sa unang parenthesis, tapos ipag-minus naman sa pangalawang parenthesis. Equal to 0. Then, to solve for x sub 1 and x sub 2, equate natin itong dalawa. Paghiwalayin, tapos both equal to 0. By doing that, ito yun, x plus 8 is equal to 0, x minus 8 is equal to 0. Tapos, solve for x sub 1, ilipat yung positive 8 sa kabila, magiging negative 8. Ito yan. x is equal to 0 minus 8, tapos solve for 0 minus 8, that is negative 8. And this will now be the value of our x sub 1, yung first na value na pinapahanap sa atin. Let's go for second value of x, or x sub 2. So, si negative 8, para matira si x, ililipat natin yung negative 8. So, what will happen to negative 8 kapag tinranspose? Magiging positive 8. So, ganito yung kalalabasan niya. x is equal to 0 plus 8. Tapos, ang 0 plus 8 is just 8. Then, since okay na, ito na ang value ng x sub 2 natin. x sub 2 is equal to 8. Ayan. So, this is now the answer for number 1. Okay, let's have number 2. 25x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. So, ito ay difference of 2 squares din. Bakit ulit? Dalawang terms. Minus. Perfect square ang first term. Perfect square ang last term. And kung difference of 2 squares yan, ganito kasimple ang step. Kunin mo ang square root ng first sa kanang last. Then, 25. Square root ng 25 ay 5 kasi ang 5 times 5 is 25. Then, ang x squared ay x na lang kasi dinivide natin yung 2 sa 2. So, this is 5x. 49, mag-isip ka ng number na kapag minultiply sa sarili, 49 ang sagot, that is 7. So, 7 na lang yon. Tapos, para makuha yung factored form, ipag-plus sa unang parenthesis. So, 5x plus 7, ipag-minus itong dalawa sa pangalawang parenthesis. That is 5x minus 7. And equal to 0. To solve for x sub 1 tapos x sub 2, paghiwalayin, yung 5x plus 7 is equal to 0, tapos yung 5x minus 7 is equal to 0 din. Tapos solve for x. x sub 1 muna. Ilipat yung positive 7 sa kabila, what will happen? That will become negative. Then, 0 minus 7 is negative 7, tapos since may 5 pa si x, kailangan siyang mawala, kailangan siyang tanggalin. So, divide yan both by 5. So, magiging 1 na lang ito. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, 1x or just x na lang ang matitira. Tapos, negative 7 divided by 5, magiging decimal yon. So, kung ganun din ang magiging case, pwedeng fraction na ang sagot. So, yung negative dito, igigit na na lang natin. So, x is equal to negative 7 over 5. And this will now be the value of x of 1. Ayan. So, let's solve naman yung x sub 2. Same process. Ilipat mo sa negative 7. What will happen kapag nilipat? Magiging positive 7 siya. Then, solve natin. 0 plus 7 is 7. Tapos, hindi pwedeng may katabi si x. I-divide natin yan sa kung anong number ang katabi ng x na yan. So, divide sa 5. So, 5 divided by 5, 1. Kaya, 1x na lang to. Or just x ang matitira dito. Tapos, ang 7 divided by 5 ay may decimal. So, okay na na fraction ang maging sagot. So, x is equal to 7 over 5. And this will now be our x sub 2. So, ganun lang po kasimple. I hope natuto ka sa akin ngayong araw. And I want to see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did learn... Please do share this to your friends who needs this lesson the most. And don't forget also to subscribe and click that notification bell para updated ka rin sa mga latest videos natin i-upload dito sa UMR PH. Don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. 
Hashtag Bye-bye! See you in our next video.